the ongoing public accounts committee hearings have brought to the fore some very disturbing issues that border on corruption and abuse of public funds by certain state institutions. Of particular interest to us is the latest revelation about the colossal expenditure made by the Minerals Income Investment Fund, MEF, on the botched Ejapa royalties deal. Ladies and gentlemen, during the committee's consideration of the report of the Auditor General on the accounts of MIF for the period ended 31st December 2022, the Chief Executive Officer of MIF, one Edward Nana Yaokranten, disclosed that a humongous amount of $12 million, equivalent to 153 million Ghana cities, which is equivalent to 1.5 trillion old Ghana cities, was spent on the aborted, or should I say stillborn, a Japan royalties scam. Ladies and gentlemen, during the committee's consideration of the report, the CEO of MIF stated that this colossal amount was spent on the setting up of the Ejapa SPV, the payment of so-called consultancy fees, and the rental space, and the processes leading to the initial public offering towards the listing of Ejapa royalties on the London Stock Exchange. This is what they claim to have spent. 153 million cities equivalent to 1.5 trillion old Ghana cities on. The Ghanaian public was taken aback by these disclosures, which are to the never-ending list of corruption scandals that have plagued the nation under the watch of President Ekufuado and his corrupt protege Al-Haji Mohamedou Baumia. For us in the National Democratic Congress, this disclosure does not come as a surprise. We are on record to have stated, times without number, that the Japan royalties deal was yet another phony scheme cooked by the corrupt Ekufuado Bawumia government for the sole purpose of appropriating the mineral royalties of the country for themselves in perpetuity. Ghanaians would recall that during the intense public debate on the infamous Ejapa deal, the NDC took a principled position to stand with the people of Ghana. We kicked against the whole Ejapa arrangement on grounds that the country's mineral royalties had been grossly undervalued under the opaque deal. And that same was going to deny future governments and gen generations mineral revenues for development. Several civil society organizations, including Imani, ISODEC, PIAC, the Ghana Integrity Initiative, IDEC, ESEPA, ESEP, among others, kicked against this ripoff called EJAPA based on sound arguments and alternative proposals, all of which were ignored by the corrupt and nepotistic Ekufuado Baumia government who were hell-bent on stealing our mineral royalties. Subsequently, the Office of the Special Prosecutor established in its corruption risk assessment report that the Japa deal was fraught with procurement rigging, statutory breaches, potential money laundering, and inimical to the national interest. Thank you.